Namaste and blessed be superhumans. It's Goddess Rondi here with part three of the Empath Sex, Love, and Attraction Guide. Today we're talking about love and we all want love. Everybody wants love. And sadly, when we get out there and we put ourselves out there to find that perfect partner, somehow we slip out of our psychic empath selves and slip back into, I guess, the mundane way of trying to find love. We get out there, we'll go to clubs, we'll go to bars, we'll ask our friends, tell people, you know, we're single and things like that. But we don't really employ our own superhuman gifts to bring that special love to us. And that's something you can do. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, but I've try to manifest it. I've tried, tried, tried. I've burned candles. I've done everything. Well, burning candles is not just enough. You know, we have to employ other techniques. The most important tool and technique to help you to manifest your goals and dreams is confidence. If you don't have the confidence in your ability while you're trying to manifest, then usually it might not work out the way that you would hope that it would. A lot of us, especially because we're empaths, we tend to already have a guilty conscience or we have self-doubt or things like that. A lot of times because of the way we've been treated by other people who drain us and or we've had bad relationships before and so we're care, we're still standing on those empty battlefields or having relationships with ghosts of past um, relationships that we would have had. And all these things can go a long way to ruining your manifestation techniques. So the first thing that we have to do is clear away the doubt in your ability, get confidence up in your ability. So how do we do that? Because you may say, you know what, Rondi, I have been trying and trying to do this for myself. If it's never worked, how can I possibly have any confidence? Because you're only looking at what you have tried to do for yourself based on whatever emotional platform you were launching from. If you were launching from desperation or just a need that you just want to have someone, you need somebody in your life or depression because you haven't had anyone or anxiety because the last ones you had were just stalkers or crazy people, you know, that ruined your life. But let's take that away. Let's take away what may not have been as effective for yourself. Let's turn that and let's look at how you have helped other people to manifest better lives. People have come to you, they've talked to you, and you have helped them to do better somewhere, some point in their lives, to the point where they'll just like, thank you so much, you've helped me so much, I'm so grateful, so grateful that they typically keep coming back for more help. But with that said, you are a manifester. Think of all of the things that you have manifested for other people. Service impasse like us, we do very well at manifesting for other people. It's just when we try to do for ourselves, our own self-doubt can come in or we can be launching from an emotional platform that is not conducive to finding that person. But to build your self-confidence in your abilities, take a look, think back. How many people have you helped? How many people have you helped to create a better life for themselves, even if it's just in a small way, that because of you and your assistance, they left you happier or more prosperous or in some way better? That means you are a manifest. You have the gift of manifestation. The way you manifested it for them was as like many of us service empaths, we really want 
other people to succeed. We really want other people to be happy, to have the things that we that they want. And we are taking that desire, that emotion, that particular emotional platform, and we are launching from a true desire for that person to succeed, to be happy, to be prosperous, whatever it is, we are just filled with that intent that that person is going to have it and we put it out there for them to help them to get it. Now, now that you are starting to recognize how special you are and the special gifts that you have, because if you can do this for other people, you can do this for yourself. So if you have to, if you have to look at yourself as your own client, approach it as if you are your own client or you are your own friend and put that true desire for a real partner to come into your life. Put that emotion into it. Use those inner manifestation super human gifts that you have to bring your perfect partner to you. Treat yourself the same way. Treat the same way as if you were doing it for a friend, but you need to have that desire within yourself. So first, go over your list of all of the people that you have helped to manifest to get that confidence up. Saying, hey, I helped so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. I definitely have the ability. I just need to turn that on myself. And then approach your own manifestation as if you were doing it for your friend or a family member or a coworker, whoever. Just bring that desire into it. Now, a caution, whatever you do, because this is something many, many do, not just empaths, thanks to television and their, um, I don't know, wrong idea of what a soulmate is. Many people will say, where's my soulmate? I want a soulmate. Please keep in mind that the soulmate relationship is a learning relationship. It's people who come to, and not just lovers, soulmates can be friends, family members, coworkers, your boss, you know, but there's someone who's here to teach you something and you're teaching them something. And sadly, we tend to learn through conflict because when things are going well, we're having a good time. We don't learn anything. But when things are conflicted, that's when we have to see what we're made out of, make good choices, you know, really do the things that help our souls to evolve. And so unless you want a conflicted, I love you, I hate you, come closer, stay back, drama for your mama relationship, do not ask for a soulmate. Instead, ask for someone who resonates with you harmoniously. That's who you want to ask for. Now, to help your um, manifestation techniques, tonight or whenever you can, make a list and entitle it My Perfect Partner. And on that list, you write down everything you can think of. What do they look like? What are their politics? What are their hobbies? What is their sense of humor like? The whole, everything that you can possibly come up with. And you keep it by your bedside. You read it when you get up in the morning. You read it before you go to bed at night. But your extra added trick to this is to put a little emotional shape shifting in there so that we can start to tell our subconscious exactly what it is that we want. And so when you write your list in while you're reading it, imagine what it would feel like to have that perfect partner come into your life to support you, to love you, to nurture you, to help you. Doesn't help if they're really hot. You know, we can add that in there too. But just imagine that. Put that feeling. This is the platform that you want to launch from. Bring that feeling up of what it would feel like. Read your list to the universe and then go about your day confidently recognizing that you deserve that person who resonates with you harmoniously. 
You've paid your dues. You've helped many. And now it's your turn. So with that said, this is part three of the Impasse Sex, Love, and Attraction Guide. Of course, I'm Goddess Rhonda. Please subscribe to my channel. Please visit my website. Just put in goddessrhonda.com. It will take you to my website where you can hit the shopping cart tab if you want to set something up with me, or you can just join my mailing list or hit the contact button if you want to ask me some questions. Also, which I don't have right next to me at the moment, please check out my book, You Are Not Broken, for even more techniques on emotional shape-shifting and truly manifesting the life that you deserve and desire. You deserve to have the best. So with that said, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Namaste and blessed be. Bye.